Chill, chill, chill. You already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingphase.com, web developers lunch break. All right, so today's topic is how to deal with other people's attitudes, right? Especially when it's crunch time. As a developer, a lot of people are going to come to you as if you have the answers to everything, as if you can make magic happen as if everything that's going on is your fault because you're the developer and everything's supposed to work perfectly. The reality of things is life is not perfect. Nothing in this world is perfect. And unfortunately, when it comes to web development, it also can be unperfect or imperfect. Right? It could definitely be imperfect because, like, let's say an example. You're working on something and somebody pushes something on the code that can break your part of the code. So in your head, you think, oh, I finished this a while back. And you push it to the live site and it's broken. So people come to you and be like, hey, man, I thought you fixed this. Didn't you fix this thing? Or... Didn't you, wasn't you the one in charge of this thing or whatever component it is on the website? Wasn't you in charge of this? And then you're like, yeah, I finished it. Everything is fine. Then you look, somebody did a change somewhere on the site, either to the API or, or whatever JSON data you was expecting and they changed a, a migration, but they didn't refactor throughout the whole site. So now you, that created your component, now it's your fault. <laughs> Even though somebody else broke it, somebody else did it. So how do you deal with that? Especially when you're dealing with management or other coworkers who might come with you with attitudes or different problems, right? Think about it like this, man. Just take it easy. Don't let it stress you. Don't worry about it. Everybody makes mistakes. And if they can't understand that, then don't pay no mind to them. And then <laughs> when they make a mistake, bring it out and be like, oh, you did a mistake on this. You did a mistake on that. You did a mistake on this. You did a mistake on that. All right? Because a lot of people like to, to do things. And, and basically don't like to take responsibility. But when it's either your fault or you're connected to a certain problem, they expect you to take the responsibility no matter what, even though you had nothing to do with it, <laughs> right? So that's one of the issues as being a web developer. And how do you deal with that? Like I told you, like, just take it easy, relax, don't worry about it. It's not your fault. And if it is your fault, just be like, hey, it's fine. I can fix it. Don't let it ruin your day. Don't let it stress you out. Just chill. All right, guys. But yeah, man. So this is a quick advice for you guys who are either working at a company right now or on your way to get hired. You know, when it, you get to one of those situations where... It's either your fault or not your fault, but people are putting blame on you. Take it easy. Don't panic. Just relax. Take a breather. And explain it to the person. Break it down to them. Tell them, hey, this is what happened. Da, da, da. You know, somebody pushed this. They changed that. They didn't, they didn't refactor all the variables, so that's why it broke. And then just fix it. You know, don't let it ruin your day and be like, oh, God, man. You know, it's not my fault. They shouldn't put blame on me. Just take it easy. All right, guys? Anyways, man, you already know. It's your boy Joe. Back at it again, man. Codingphase.com. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. And like I told you guys, make sure that you check out the description below. All right? I got a lot of cool links that are going to help you out as a developer. So, yeah. I'll see you guys around.
Philippines. No, we're not, dog. Listen, it's a whole new world right here, man. When you click show more, you're going to see everything. All right? You got 50% off to my website, codingphase.com, automatically because it came from YouTube. That's the coupon code, kids. All right? And then from there, you got um, our sponsor links, of course. But it's crazy because I'm sponsored by them now, Udemy.com. But it's crazy because they taught me how to become a developer when I was doing this by myself. And I'm proud to say that. I'm proud to say, hey, I'm actually a developer who's successful and I'm doing my thing thanks to Udemy. Okay, guys, check those links out. Best instructors in the world. They're right there. Trust me, guys. Believe in me. All right. And then from there, you got the Discord, which is basically a chat room. It's a, a way to communicate with each other. Like, you know, all my friends are in there. You got your boy, Matt. You got your girl, Barbara. You got a couple of people in there. You know, we got Cam. We got the whole squad is in there, guys. Listen, check it out, man. Put in some time. Just click on that link, show more, and you will see all the most valuable links. All right, guys. Fun don't stop here, man. The fun don't stop just on this video. There's a whole community to this. CodingPhase.com. I'll see you guys later. Bye.